is the moment of fertilization, and that can only be witnessed in an embryology lab like this one. Fertilization can occur in two different ways. Conventional fertilization simply involves putting some sperm in a dish with the eggs and allowing fertilization to occur naturally. And the other method is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI. ICSI has been a game-changing procedure, especially for cases involving male infertility, where sperm counts or motility might be low. This is a procedure where a single individual sperm cell is injected directly into an egg to fertilize it. It's a truly remarkable thing to witness, and we're excited to share it with you today. So now Donna is going to inject a single sperm into each egg that she has there on the dish. The sperm are placed into a viscous solution called polyvinyl pyrrolidone, or PVP is the acronym we use. And that slows them down. It, it serves two purposes purposes. So it slows the sperm down so that we can catch them. It also makes it easier to control that fluid because it's a viscous fluid. So we're using suction to control the injection. So orientation of the oocyte on the holding pipette is very important. And data within our lab has shown that we get the best results when holding the polar body at a seven o'clock position. So now what Donna's doing is bringing that sperm down to the very tip of the injection pipette. The idea of doing that is that we want to have no uh, extra PVP injected into the egg. And also uh, here at RMA of New York we use a very gentle way of breaking the oolema, which is the membrane of the egg, which is what Donna's doing there with the circular motion. So we don't actually break it by um, sucking in the oaplasm, which is the standard method. Due to this, we have very, very low um, damage rates with ICSI, which is something that other labs contend with up to 5%. You can see with this shot too, how that micro pipette is only just slightly larger than the sperm itself. So it's approximately the same diameter as a single human hair. So it really is very tiny. 